Hey guys, um, my pretties, it's the Lion Queen here. Um, yeah, it's been a, quite a long time since I last did, you know, a, um, update video, you know, to my channel and stuff. But we're kind of pretty much nearly halfway through the 2023 and things have been going pretty well with me. Although I may have my fair share of bad days, like whatever it be, you know, just me going through some family problems or whatever, but it's not drama related, thankfully, unlike you know, last year, 2021 or 2020 in general. So that is a very good thing. Okay. Um, just to let you guys know that I've been doing pretty chill with me. No one's been after me, thankfully. So that's good news. No one's been after me and everything's been going really well. However, I do kind of want to, you know, maybe express some things into, you know, you know, why, why I'm making this update. Well, there is some upcoming, um, ideas like for stories I have. Um, I'm also trying to finish up the keepsake. Um, I'm, well, I'm, I done keep finish keepsake season one and I'm slowly trying to get into, you know, try to write an episode or two for season two, but I motivation has been really draining on me like it's been really draining on me you know for the last couple months even I'm you know looking at it now I'm I still haven't had motivation you know to even make these episodes although I am still trying to get an episode or two up but at the same time though it's just my motivation you know it's just not there like it's just gone just like that that is um something I really have to say. Hey, well, it's just, yeah, this has just been, you know, crazy because I'm just trying to, you know, trying to get motivation to back into writing stories. But unfortunately, you know, some of the stories I kind of lost interest on, but that doesn't mean I'm giving up on them. I'm not going to give up on them. I'll get them out whenever I can, whenever I have motivation, etc. So, in regards to that, I do have some things that I do plan to maybe do in the future of this channel. One of them, one of them being the fact that I am trying to see if I can, you know, um, do a Q&A video, which I, I haven't done one in like a really long time. I think the last time I did it was sometime early last year, but I'm going to try and, you know, See if I can maybe make a community post sometime and maybe, you know, have like a Q&A thing saying I'll do it at the end of the week or whatever. And then you guys um can put down your questions and stuff. I know I haven't done a Q&A video in a long time, but I'm hoping maybe I can do one sometime this year if I'm able to. It's just I've been, oh, my family life has been hectic, people. Family life has been so hectic. I'm can't even blame anybody right now. It's been hectic. You know, me being busy with stuff, it's just been really crazy. But the fact that I've had, you know, some ideas pop in my mind that I want to do them, but unfortunately, I just either don't have motivation or it's just not, or it's, I just don't have the motivation. And this is a problem, and it's been a problem them for a while actually and it has been a problem for a little bit when it came to motivation because when I lose motivation it really hurts because back then I'm hoping you know that there was some sort of motivation in this story that could have you know maybe look at it as if well something's going on but in this my honest opinion though it's just my motivation's been going downhill when it comes to, you know, trying to find some ideas for stories. Like, I mean, I'd be interested in one story idea, then I go out and do something, but then the next day it's gone. I mean, I'm sure a lot of us have suffered, you know, motivation, you know, draining, but, you know. But I'm still going to keep standing. I'm not going to give up doing what I'm doing. I am not giving up. So there's that. I am still going to stay strong, especially for my channel, and I'm still going to do what I'm doing. Although, 
Some of these stories I have been writing in the past, I've been putting on hiatus for a while because I just haven't had motivation, just didn't have time. It's been a pain in the ass to try to get motivation. It's just, I don't even know why, but this has been something that I've been, you know, it's been really on my nerves, you know, when it comes to motivations. Motivation losing is just really something. And that's really unfortunate, but at the same time, I can't really blame anybody because it's just, you know, something when it comes to motivation. So, motivation loss is definitely um, something. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody has, you know, suffered through motivation and stuff. I'm sure everybody has. So, I can really say that they probably have been through that. So, an update to the channel of what I've been doing, um, yeah, you guys have been seeing, you know, me, you know, branching out and doing more Spigonia videos, which most of you guys seem to enjoy that, and I am so grateful you guys are really enjoying the Spigonia content. I mean, you know, I understand that Spigonia may not be something everyone's into, but some of you, but most of you guys who've been around on my channel for a while seem to enjoy them, no problem, so that's awesome. However, I will say right now when it comes to Spigonia, I do add some toilet humor into the store, into the, you know, Spigonia videos. Because the Spigonia community commonly uses toilet humor and satire, pretty much, pretty much akin to South Park almost. And, you know, the humor in the South Park series is pretty crude at times and stuff, but I personally really enjoy, you know doing Spigonia videos. I find them fun to do. They're awesome, etc. So, there's that. There's definitely that. Um, I am still doing more, um, you know, some, you know, new Spigonia videos and stuff. And, I mean, some of my Spigonia videos got some views. Like, I mean, the big Drew Pickles goes to the big comfy couch. That one's got, like, almost 400 views. So, I want to thank you so much for that. Um, I do notice another Spigonia video I have, you know, done called Drew Pickles Goes to the Bear in the Big Blue House. That one's got, like, over 300 views. Thank you so much for that. That's definitely really is something. And most of you guys seem to enjoy my Spigonia videos, and that is amazing. I'm so glad you most of you guys seem to enjoy, you know, the Spigonia videos. I mean, I understand that it's may not be for everybody, but it is definitely something I've been, you know, wanting to be doing more often of and stuff. So, I mean, this is definitely, un definitely something that I've been wanting to um, be doing for a while. And, of course, I'm still going to be doing, you know, Spigonia videos and stuff. But when it comes to Spigonia videos, it's just I've been, you know, trying to find some ideas, come up with some new ideas so I can, you know make something cool for a new uh, videos and you know I get some video ideas and I'm really proud to be in the Spigonia community and I have been in the Spigonia community since 2021 on my birthday and this year on my birthday when I turn 25 is going to be one year and two year anniversary since joining the Spigonia community which I'm grateful to be in the Spigonia community. While I can say that not everybody is in the toilet humor, that's understandable. But at the same time, I do want to make some statements here. And when it comes to toilet humor being in, you know, my Spigonia videos, I mainly do save toilet humor for Spigonia videos. Because according to, um, you know, the whole Spigonia community I've seen, most of the time they use a lot of satire comedy and stuff. Which, I mean... I have no problems with, you know, you know, with Drew Pickles going to these places. I mean, you know, there is a video pretty much stating um my, you know, why I joined the Spigonia community and my thoughts on it. I do have a video addressing to that. It's on my channel. I am pretty sure most of you guys um know where you could find it. So there's that. Now about the Berenstein Bears, Drew Pickles goes to the Berenstein Bears treehouse. We got around, you know over 500 views, which I thank you so much for that, and, you know, keep going up with it, so, yeah, this is definitely, um, re really amazing that my Spigonia videos, most of them seem to do well, 
Some of them may not be doing as great in views, but in my honest opinion, I don't really care for the view um, count because 99.9% .9 of the time, if I'm being honest, I don't really care for views or, you know, anything like that. I just, I just, I'm just on the YouTube for fun. I'm not doing it for money or anything. And that's something I could definitely say. But am I going to do more Spigonia videos in the future? Um, I do have a couple of videos. I do have a couple of video Spigonia video ideas planned, but I just haven't had time to get to them. And I also haven't had motivation to get to them either, but I will do my best to try and get to them if I can. So there's definitely that. Um, I do have some more creepypasta, you know, narrations of stories and that coming up. And about the Loud House, the virus, I am still trying to get, find the time to do that. But I'm all, I'm also reading, um, Silent Ponyville chapter, well, part four right now. But I do have an update regarding to that one. It only has, you know, six chapters. And unfortunately, um, it's been pretty much canceled because, um, the last chapter of, you know, Silent Ponyville, I'm just going to basically, you know, summarize it up. Um, there is no final chapter of it. Well, besides chapter, you know, um, um, besides chapter six, which, um, yeah, that's the thing to be honest. So, um, yeah, unfortunately chapter six, has, the story has been canceled after chapter six. I don't know why, but I guess the offer maybe kind of lost motivation or something. So I really want to say right now that, you know, pretty much the spoilers and, you know, subnosis of, you know, all the chapters, you know, that the offer did plan, you know, to, um, you know, make out and seeing if, if any of these will work. So, yeah, but however, though, it's pretty much what falls in full is, you know, unmarked spoilers from what I do know. But of course, I can read them if I desire. So, well, and you know, to be honest, um, or feel free to wait for someone to actually write the story either way. Um, the the author did apologize, saying that the, that they couldn't finish the story as intended. So I will do the summary um chapters like the synopsis of you know the chapters of the story because yeah, I just wanted to you know update you guys on that and yeah. So there's definitely that. So yeah, but basically um, after chapter six, there's just, you know, summary subnoxious of the rest of them, but I will be reading them eventually. So yeah, the, uh, I do narrate, I have, um, yeah, I have read, you know, the other Silent Ponyville stories, but you know, there is another Silent Ponyville story that I do find it to be, you know, good or something is called um silent ponyville last breath which i don't think i've ever heard of that one but will i ever get to it um the answer is i'm not sure maybe in the future but i don't know so yeah i just kind of want to update you guys on silent ponyville you know the fourth chapter and let you get well the fourth one to let you guys know about that because i just started you know narrating the first few chapters of it. So yeah, I just kind of want to give you an update on that. And Loud House of the, the Virus series, I do plan to get trying to get to that one in the future. Um, hopefully maybe this summer if I can, but my answer is I'm not sure. I don't really know when I'll get to these stories, but I will do my best. So I'm going to say right now, I may be slow on requests, although I'm not taking too many requests at the moment because I get too many stories and it's no it's nothing against you guys, obviously, but it's just random people, people, you know, sitting there, you know, request that have been either new on my channel or just random or something, you know, request me, you know, to read a certain story or something. And I mean, it just gets really aggravating. But at the same time, I will say this right here and um right now that I'm only going to take requests for pe from people who have been on my channel for a long time. So, that is pretty much the only um, reasons of why I'll be taking requests. It's only on people that I've trusted on this channel for a while. That's literally all I'm going to be doing. Because 
most of the creepy pastas I am seeing are just you know not really um not real you know most of the creepy pastas in general is just not it's just going downhill and stuff, but in my honest through reality and opinion. When I wanted to make this video, it's because I haven't done a video on this in a long time. And I'm so glad that I'm, you know, doing an update to let you guys know how I've been doing. How everything's been going well and stuff. So, yeah, there's definitely that. So, anyways, I guess with that being the case and with that being said, I am definitely going to sit here and say here right now that this was honestly... Um, well, this is honestly just an update just to let you guys know how I'm doing and stuff, but also, you know, upcoming projects. So, but I will not be doing too many requests very much to any more as much as I used to. Only time I'm going to say this once and again, if I haven't, I'm only going to be taking requests if the stories I find are good. If I find the story good or you know, decent, but I'm only also going to take requests from stories that, well, from people that I trust the most, like those who have been on my channel since, you know, last year, um, 2021, 2020, or even if you were back in the OG days, 2020, well, 2019, those are going to be the people close to me that I've known for years or last year or whatever. Those are going to be the people I'm going to be taking requests from. But any random people who just pop on my channel, like let's just say today, request me to read a story, I'm not going to be taking requests so much anymore because I just get too many requests and it does get overwhelming. And it's nothing against any of you guys, but when random people say, oh, narrate this story and I go look at it, it's a garbage story. So yeah, I just want to say right now, requests, are still going to be limited at this point because most because I keep getting too many of them. And yet again, I'm going to say this again. This this is nothing against any of you guys. You guys are fine. Like this is nothing against you guys that have been on my channel for a long time. You guys are ter are totally fine. You guys are totally fine to send me requests to your stories or whatever. That's fine. But I'm talking about random people coming on here, you know, those who have been new and say, oh, can you re read this one? You know, because most of the stories are just, honestly, they're not that, most of the creepypastas are not that good. Although, some good news is that, you know, the one creepypasta wiki used to be called the Goshia Lost Episode Wiki. It got a new revamp and now it's called the Lost Episode Wiki. So, most of the stories there have been deleted. So, that's a bonus. Most of the garbage ones, actually. The garbage stories that have been on there. That's a bonus. So, yeah. I just kind of wanted to give you an update as to what's been going on and how I've been doing and stuff. But, yeah. Anyways, um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, if I come up with anything else, I'll probably pin a comment that I have, you know, that I comment on this video in the comment section. If I do have anything else that I forgot. But, anyways. Um, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new to my, if you're new to my channel, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications to when I upload, so that way you guys will not miss an upload. And as always, please roll the outro, cause I'm out of here, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video.